behind her, and I said, now just get the folks not coming here to take over yet. Uh, I said, uh, uh, Spellman hadn't given any orders, and we're going to work this thing out, and it's going to be the same bill I sent up to the Hill. It doesn't discriminate against anybody, but we're going to put a provision in the report where it won't be an issue, and Charlie Halleck's promoting all this stuff. He's the one that started it. He's first he had, we're going to do too much for Negros. He thought that would run the Southerners yes. off, and they didn't do it. I went to Atlanta, and I had 600000 so it didn't make them too mad. Now he's trying to do it with the Pope, and they, if they get through with the Pope, they'll do it some other way. They're trying to beat this bill and divide this party. Now, we got to be outsmart them. But I'll assure you this, as long as I'm in this office, a Catholic child will be treated the same as a Baptist child. Well, heavens, we know that. Now, and exactly, Mr. I wouldn't have gone on this ticket in 1960, except I wanted to prove that. And I tell them that story about Joe Kennedy taking that uh, plane out to go back on the last flight when he shot down. He had a Baptist boy sitting by his side. And they called up here the other day when I gave Shriver a letter to the Pope. And the Baptist, uh, James, who's head of the Baptist in the South, he called up and denounced him that Bill Moyer's got a good sense of humor. And Bill said, well, I can't get to him now. He said, he's in a meeting. And he said, what kind of meeting's in? He said, he's out swimming with Billy Graham. <laughs> and they said, uh, he is really swimming, Billy Graham? And Bill told him, yeah, and I was. And they said, well, then there must not be much to this Pope story then if he's swimming with Billy Graham. So <laughs> that's the way we answer him. But don't let them make damn fools of us. Well, Mr. McCormick has told uh, uh, Tip O'Neill and Jim Delaney that under no circumstances must uh, our faith be used or in any possible way to defeat this legislation. Now, uh, unhappily, Shriver and, and uh, Carey and Landrum all agreed until these damn school people got in the thing. Uh, well, uh, I don't think that's quite, uh, I don't think that's quite right. Phil told them uh, that he personally had no objection. He doesn't. But he cannot carry uh, the Wright Patmans and the other folks with him any more than uh, I can carry uh, 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 Charlie Halleck with me. He's just about as uh, uh, he just about as ineffective with him. Now what we've got to do is take the bill we sent and then turn it over to a Catholic to run and yes, turn sir. it over to a president to run and give him authority in that report down deep in it, Frank where the administrator can uh, insist that school boards be fair, give equal rights, period. We can do that, Mr. President, and, it, and if necessary, it's going to involve, and we're perfectly willing and ready to do it, at least I am, and Jim will talk to you in a moment, I hope, if you have a, another minute. Yeah. Uh, we are perfectly willing to stand up and to beat this amendment down if they persist in offering it. That's right. We'll check. take our chances. Mr. McCormick and Carl Albert are going to face up to the problem that they have as leadership uh, with the Rules Committee, and I think we're going to be all right. But we cannot compromise in advance. I couldn't agree with you more thoroughly. If they did that, they'd say Spellman running. Now, I'm not, I don't mind a damn bit. I made Spellman's speech at his Al Smith dinner last year. I don't mind calling a damn bit and telling anybody in the church that I picked Sergeant Shriver to run this program, and I had a well in mind who he was and where he was and what his faith was. And I was an NYA man, and I treated the Catholic schools. I made allotments direct to them in every damn grade school, high school, college they had during the NYA days. Now, what we'll do is leave that language where it's up to the school authorities, then put a provision in there that the, in the, in the report that the administrator has authority to see that everybody is treated equal, given equal rights. Then I will see that Shriver says to those people, if you want to do this, you've got to treat these people fair. Mr. President, would it be... And it doesn't make them an issue. It doesn't get the Al Smith fight back in here, and they ought to want an issue. I'm just talking off the top of my head now, and I haven't even talked to Mr. McCormick or Jim O'Hara about it. Could you call uh, possibly Spellman? Yeah, I'll he, call anybody that you and John McCormick and uh, O'Hara want me to. I don't want to be. Uh, Spellman. I don't want to be. Likely call Delaney at least and, and carry off of this thing with assurances that you've given uh, to us on the phone and with assurances that there's strong language in that report. 
Well, we'll do whatever is need to be done, whatever you all recommend. Well, now, here's Jim O'Hara, Mr. President. Thank but you now, listen, so Frank. Frank, uh, yes. that kind of conversation ought to go to anybody else. Oh, good heavens. Because no. we can't have the president. Uh, I'll tell you what I did. You have no idea. I got, I don't know how many thousand letters when I gave Shriver a letter to the Pope. Yes. And if they think the president of this country is calling Spellman to get his permission, uh, it's hell raised night. Me and you, me and, me and you know that, and I'll do anything I need to do, and you well, just let John tell me what I want to yes. do, and I'll do it. But what I'd do is with you, if I were you, I'd sit down with Shriver this afternoon, make him get up there and Bill Moyer, work out a sentence in the report that gives Shriver, directs Shriver to see if we have equal rights, where it looks like it's civil rights, it looks like it's constitutional rights, it looks like it's everything. But what it really means is that uh, he can't discriminate against people that uh, go to parochial schools. I agree with you thoroughly. Mr. And then, then put that slip out in your report. Let Phil Graham, Phil Landrum handle it. Sit down with Phil and work it out. And then when they come out there and they go to raising hell with you, say we haven't changed this bill one iota. Bill just like it was. And this bill leaves it up to local school boards what they do about it. And well, we can so, do that. And then, then, then when we give this money, we give it to Shriver, and Shriver will control it through the money. Sure. And he's not going to be vicious then, of course. And he'll just say, well, I'm going to do it just like I did NYA. We're going to, just because a kid's a Negro, he's not going to be discriminated against. Just because he's a Catholic, he's not going to be discriminated against. Just because he's Jewish, he's not going to be discriminated against. Sure. But let's don't try that fight out. We can't win that no, fight. No, sir, we can't. And Halleck has got the Negro thing. He said that there's going to be too much of this go to Negros. Freeling Housing tried that for a week, and that old dog wouldn't hunt. So now he's got the Pope in it, and he's trying that. And they're going to be moving to take care of the Pope. And you know how interested they are in the Pope. They just use him for political purposes, that's all. Just like the Hoover did when they beat Smith. We'll do that, Mr. Okay. President. Here's Jim uh, O'Hara, right. sir. Well, Mr. President. Jim, the best thing I can say is I appointed Sergeant Shriver, and I knew what church he went to, and I'll, I'll take care of him, and he'll take care of you. Well, Mr. President, I think we can work it out. Well, you put... Put a provision in that report that he's got he can't discriminate. The administrator must see it. Everybody gets equal rights. On the floor, tell him that uh, you, you haven't changed the bill a damn bit. The Pope hadn't even know about it. He hadn't heard about it. That uh, we're treating everybody equally. Then you let Shriver handle the money, and I'll handle the money, and it'll be taken care of. Mr. President, I think if you could give an assurance uh, to uh, to Hugh Carey, and uh, who's worried about this. I'll give it. You'll get Hugh to call me. I'll give it, or I'll, I'll give it to Shriver, and he can give it, or I'll, you all can give it to you. And uh, we just can't let them divide us over this religious issue. They tried to do it on the Negro. They said that it's too much for Negros. And, uh, but I didn't point Shriver accidentally. Right. I picked him, and I knew what the problem was, and uh, I'm going to put him in charge of it to look after him. All right, Mr. President, let me uh, let me uh, talk to you about this and tell him what you've indicated to me to us, and, and maybe he will want to call you. And That's right. That's good. That's good. All right. Bye. Thanks, Mr. President. Bye. Uh, Mr. President. Hello. Mr. President. Hello. Is, uh, still here. All right. Hello, Speaker. Mr. Sig. How are you? Yeah. Now you all, you get a hold of these Tip O'Neill, Jim Laney, and Kerry, and talk to them. Well, and, if I talk to Kerry, I'll hot them. I've talked to Delaney already, and uh, of course they're going away over the weekend now. The rules committee, we can get a hold of them later. All right. Uh, but the thing now is on getting the bill out of the out of the uh, uh, education and labor. Yeah. You don't mind what particularly what language they put in the report? Uh, I don't care. I, what I want to do is we want to treat everybody right, and we're going to. And I wouldn't have appointed Shriver to the job if I had not appointed a Baptist preacher if I wanted to discriminate you don't have against to tell somebody. Me, Mr. President, I've known you, you and I've known <laughs> each other for so many years. We don't have to tell each other yeah. the uh, what how what our outlook on life is. <laughs> well, I'll protect them. I'll tell you that. All right. Bye. Bye.